Hey, everybody. Spencer Sutton here with Evernest. And today I want to talk to you about something very important, and that is how to keep a bad tenant out of your house. Now, this is extremely important. I mean, the whole goal of renting your home is to have a great relationship with this tenant where they are paying you monthly rent. You're providing them a great house. You're providing them with uh, a good service, maintenance if, if there's an issue that comes up. Um, so it's a, it can be a great experience. But as you may have already heard, if you've not heard any kind of horror stories or anything, it can also be a very frustrating experience. I uh, first package of houses I ever bought was in 2005. There were 10 houses and I didn't look at the ledger. I didn't really read the leases all that well. I didn't uh, find out if they were up to date, if they were behind. Uh, I mean, I, I bought them really, really cheap and they were in a uh, more difficult area of town to manage in. And so the very first house that I went out to, uh, there was um, this person was behind on rent because they hadn't paid me. And uh, first thing I did was I got out of my car and there were two pit bulls uh, on the porch. So I got back in my car and left and decided to send them a letter. Anyway, I could tell you story after story after story um, about the difficulty of uh, having a relationship with a tenant that doesn't want to pay you. It's just not very good. And so I want to make sure in this video that I'm giving you some advice, some, uh, some ways to make sure that that doesn't happen to you because that's the last thing you want. As a matter of fact, I'll just tell you, if you're, uh, if you're a landlord and you're managing your own property, and you go out to the house, you're showing the property over and over and over again, the tendency is to really, really want to place somebody as quickly as possible. And you've got to resist the temptation to, to um, kind of lighten your criteria or say, well, that doesn't really matter all that much. You've got to be very, very diligent in this process. And so I'm going to give you um, some uh, things that we're looking for, some things I'm going to suggest that you look for when uh, placing a tenant. And this is going to be how to keep a bad tenant out of your house. So first thing is you want to make sure high income, right? So enough income. And what we're, we look for is at least three times gross income to the amount of rent we're asking. Some people decide to do net income. You can do gross income. We think we found that gross income works really well for us. So, um, so that's the first thing verify their income. Next thing is you want to talk to landlord references. You want to, you want to dig in and um, if they've rented before, which more than likely they have, then you want to find out from their previous landlords, you know, uh, how, how the experience was. Now, what you want to do is also make sure that it's not their cousin or their friend that you're talking to. So it's helpful if they've rented from a professional property manager before, because you can call that company and you know that um, they're just going to kind of shoot you straight. You don't want to use any leading questions. You just want to be very, very objective uh, when you start to ask those questions. And then uh, the third thing is you want to make sure uh, we do a background check and the background check, we, it's just a criminal background check. And we want to make sure that they don't have any felonies and uh, no violent felonies and no uh, violent misdemeanors. All right. So no felonies. So we would say felonies for 10 years, like as, as long as, as long as they hadn't had a felony in the past 10 years, uh, you're probably good there. And then definitely no violent felonies and the, then no violent misdemeanors. We just want to, uh, you know, we take, uh, we take this very seriously and just for the safety, your safety, safety of your neighbors, all of those things. Uh, that's what we, that's what we look for when we do a criminal background check. And then lastly, I would say the last thing you want to, uh, make sure and verify is that they've had no evictions, none, no evictions on the record at all. And I understand, we understand that life happens and especially in today's world with COVID and all sorts of things, um, that uh, there are different situations where people um, are evicted from properties. We understand that. We get that. But when you're thinking about putting, placing a resident or a tenant in your home, it's very, very important that you um, just make that one of your requirements, that there's not been uh, any evictions.
So I hope that helps. This is how to keep a bad tenant out of your house. If you have any questions, you want to know more about our service, what we do at Evernest, how we manage properties for uh, thousands of landlords, maybe just like you, then reach out to us. Go to our website, evernest.co, and we'd be happy to talk to you.